Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes. So Baccarat Rouge 540, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you probably know that this fragrance right here is one of my absolute favorites of all time. It's definitely in my top five niche fragrances that I've ever smelled ever. I reviewed it like ages and ages ago, so if you guys want to see that review, I'll link it down in the description bar. But yeah, you guys know all about this. It's like super, super popular, um, getting even more popular as the years go. And of course, because of its, of its success, there are other houses that are making fragrances that smell quite similar to this. And of course, at a cheaper uh, price point. So I'll be discussing four dupes of Baccarat Rouge 540. I will be discussing them in order from which I think is the least similar to 540 and then going in order to which I think is the most similar. Uh, that said though, I don't think that any of these smell exactly 100% like the original. But of course there are similarities to the original and yeah I'll just give you guys my quick thoughts on each of them. So the first one here is sorry Burberry Her and I just sprayed it on a paper here. Burberry Her has the same perfumer as the Baccarat Rouge 540 so Francis Kirkshawn is the perfumer. So when you smell Burberry Her, you'll be like, hmm, that's really, really familiar. Uh, to me, Burberry Her on my skin, I get mostly a strawberry musk, where musk is the most prominent note. And then you have this really beautiful, delicious, sweet strawberry in the background. It's not jammy on my skin. I just get this beautiful, rich, full strawberry scent but on my friend Andrew it smells very jammy so I guess it depends on chemistry um, of whether you know what it smells like on you it's different for everyone on me though it's mostly basically a really intense musky strawberry scent the musk in here is absolutely gorgeous it doesn't smell like chemically or anything it lasts forever super elegant and you can find a bottle of this perfume for around 30 or 40 euros for 30 mil and I think that's a really great value um, to me though I don't think it's like like it kind of reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540 but I don't think they smell the same but still really 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 beautiful <laughs> okay so the next one here that I want to talk about is a fragrance that I've reviewed as well so I can just link it down as well this is a, is a celebrity scent this is Ariana Grande Cloud so the bottle here is super cute I know some people find this bottle to be really nasty and ugly <laughs> and childish I think it's adorable I really like the cartoony look of it of it and the price of this I can't remember what I paid for it, but I think that you can get this cheap for like um, 30 euros maybe for a 50 mil or maybe 40 euros. But I'm going to spray it on a test strip here. So Ariana Grande Cloud. <sighs> it's lovely. It's definitely one of the best cele celebrity scents out there in my opinion. To me, on my skin, this doesn't smell like 540. On my skin, it smells like a coconutty, fruity, vanilla, creamy scent, and it is really, really delicious. However, on my friend Andrew, in the sillage, when he wore this, he wore it, and I was like, mm, you're wearing 540 today, huh? And he's like, no, I'm not wearing 540. I'm like, okay, what are you wearing then? He's like, I'm wearing Cloud. I'm like, ooh. That smells really, really, really similar in the sillage on someone else. <laughs> so again, it has to do with chemistry. On me, it doesn't smell sim it doesn't smell like 540. 
um, but it is definitely a beautiful coconutty coconutty sweetness cream and it's just like to die for it's like really really delicious yeah and a lot of people have said have said in the comments that they think that this smells uh, really really close to 540 it depends it depends on your on your skin of course and as I said in the sillage that's where I smell the 540 vibes um, but even then, it's not exactly, but it's pretty close in the sillage in someone else. But um, it is a great fragrance in and of itself. So if you like sweet, creamy scents, please do check this one out. Next up here is a fragrance from the House of Mansara. This is called Instant Crush. I'll just spray this one here. Mansara is a house that I struggled with for a very long time, but after testing and testing and testing um, their fragrances, um, there are a few that I'm warming up to. Uh, Velvet Vanilla is one that I like the most from the house, and I also like Rose's Vani. Um, but in general, Mansara and Montel fragrances don't really work well on my skin. Okay, ooh, <laughs> because there's like this harsh metallic scent that I get in the in in fragrances from that house and with instant crush i do smell like this harshness in it um other people don't have that problem with you guys hear that <laughs> there's an ambulance okay so i've heard other people say that they don't get that metallic thing at all um but to me instant crush smells like the first thing I get is that harsh metallic -y scent and on top of that I do get a smell very similar to the opening of Baccarat Rouge 540. So it's a little bit citrusy, a little sweet, spicy as well. And I found I find this fragrance to be really sharp whereas um, the, Baccarat, the Baccarat Rouge 540 is very smooth I think smooth and elegant. Um, I find the Instant Crush to be really, really sharp and like intense. And of course, Mansara fragrances are known to be really, really strong and intense. So there's no really big surprise here. But yeah, this smells like the opening of Baccarat Rouge with the addition of that infamous Mansara slash Montel base that I smell in many of their fragrances. So if you're already a fan of Montel and Mansara, then you'd probably like this one. It's pleasant, There's, I, don't, I won't say it smells bad, but um, on my skin, it doesn't work very well at all. Um, but I think that it's one to try, uh, especially if you already enjoy perfumes from that house. Pretty close, you guys, pretty close but it is that metallic base that separates it from the beauty of the original 540. Okay, so now we have one more to go. The last one I, I wanna talk about is, in my opinion, the closest to 540 <laughs> out of all of these ones. This is a fragrance from the same house as Eau de Missions. And it's from, what is that called? Uh, Les Couvent. I, I'm just totally drawing a blank now, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'll just link it, I'll just write it down somewhere here. Uh, but this is called Tin Hair. And this is a natural slash vegan formula. Okay, so... To me, this is the closest, you guys, to Baccarat Rouge 540. In Tin Hair, I get a really, um, I won't say sharp, but it's kind of an intense citrus. The same citrusy, spicy thing that I get in the original. Just in the opening. As this fragrance dries down, it all really does settle down and get less intense. It's not a very strong fragrance, not nearly as good with performance in this one, 
but just like I can see myself like spraying tin hair like 10 times and it still won't be a very strong fragrance but other than that it's quite similar but doesn't last very long but smells almost exactly but it's not exactly you guys I don't think dupes ever smell exactly exactly like the original but some of them do come close and this is a natural version you can find it for like 50 euros for 50 ml so of course it's a lot cheaper and I think it's a very enjoyable fragrance I do enjoy it a lot it does remind me a lot of the original but honestly you guys of course I would choose the original over all of these um, because they're just something magical about the original um, you guys know you guys smelled it <laughs> uh, there are some people that do not like this fragrance they say get they get this a medicinal like um, kind of metallic scent in it luckily for me I don't get that so of course Baccarat Rouge 540 would be my number one choice of these uh, but if I were to choose one that smells the most similar but not exactly it's Tin Hair by Les Couvents they, oh, it's Oda Missions. No, the same house as Oda Missions. <laughs> I can't remember again. But anyways, that was my video, you guys, on Baccarat Rouge 540 dupes. I'd love to hear your opinions on any of these fragrances. Also, I'd love to hear um, if you have if you've heard of any other dupes of 540. Let me know in the comments. I want to hear it all. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.